Good morning. The team behind Cadence and Give WP have challenged me to recreate this website. Hey Jamie, this is Matt from Stellar WP. I would love to see you rebuild the charity water donation page with Cadence and Give WP. I think that'd be pretty cool. So as usual when I'm recreating these websites, I've just got 30 minutes to do it. My website is over on the left. It's just a blank version of WordPress. I do have some plugins pre-installed though. And over on the right is the charity water website, the actual website I'm trying to recreate. It's got some interesting challenges in it. The first is it's got this donation form. So I'm gonna presumably be using the GiveWP donation plugin for this, but it also has monthly recurring payments. So we have to work out how that works. And then we've got this section down here. This is quite challenging, primarily because we've got this little, it's very faint, but we've got this very faint blue background, which is sort of intersecting these two boxes. I'm fairly confident I'll be able to do these info boxes down here quite easily. The team behind GiveWP and Cadence have told me they've pre-installed all the plugins I'll need to recreate it. So let's start the clock and start the challenge. So let's start by creating a brand new page, which is gonna be the homepage of my website. So I just go add new page, give it a title, and then I'm gonna use some of the settings that are in Cadence just to make that a blank page. So I'm gonna make it full width, I'm gonna disable the header and disable the footer. Right, let's publish that and go and have a look at it now. And here it is, so that's my new shiny blank page. And then very quickly, I'm gonna make that the home page of the website by going settings reading and setting that page as the front page. So what I'm gonna do next is create my donation form using GiveWP. And so I'm gonna to go to add new form here. And then I'm gonna choose, I think this is a multi-step form. So I'm just gonna activate that option there. Now I'm gonna tailor this form. So I'm gonna go and pick this color over here on the right using like so. That's my color I want, I think. And I'm gonna paste that color in here. There we go, there's my new color. I'm gonna use the system font and I'm going to disable the introduction because actually all I want is this payment amount over here. So this needs to say, choose an amount to give. And I don't need any text. So I'm gonna remove all that text here and the continue button needs to say donate. So I'm just gonna change that. Uh, the payment information I think is all okay. The other thing I want to do though, I think in donation options here is I want to turn on recurring donations as an option. We're gonna go for monthly here and a custom amount, that's absolutely fine. Right, before I go any further, I'm just gonna insert that form into the page just to make sure I'm absolutely happy with the design of it. Obviously, I can go back at any time and redesign it, but I just wanna test it out here. There's my form and let's see how close I got to it. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I just need to get rid of some of this text, but apart from that, I think I'm absolutely fine. Right, let's start by building out the page. Now I'm gonna use extensively today the Cadence Row Layout block because it has some extra stuff in here that I wanna show you. One of the main things it's gonna allow me to do is get more control over the layout over and above the core blocks, but also do things like add backgrounds to them, which at the moment you can do, but you need some custom CSS. So it's gonna help me work quite quickly. So I'm gonna start by adding my site logo in this left-hand row column. And then in this right-hand one, I'm gonna add my login, log out block. So those two blocks I've just added are just core standard blocks that you get within Gutenberg, but I'm using the cadence in alliance with them so I can actually position them. Now this one here, I want to actually align this one over on the right. So I'm gonna just choose that setting there. And I think that should be good to go. Let's go and check that though. Have a look at the page. There we go. So now we've got our fairly basic layout that we want to. Next up, I wanna do this section down here. I think I can do this with a row block and just essentially two columns within it. Let's go and have a go at that. So I'm gonna go edit page. And I'm gonna use the cadence row block for this again because it will just give me extra levels of control, which I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna choose the row layout and we just want two columns. And in this left-hand column, I think all I need to do is add my donation form. So let's select my donation form and that will bring that form into that area for me. And hopefully I've got that right, there we go. Uh, it will fill the space, it's looking a bit small at the moment. Now the other thing I want to do here is add that background image. So I'm gonna choose row layout and I'm gonna go background settings and I'm gonna choose a background image, which I should have already pre-uploaded for speed. There's my background image and you see how it takes up the space of the whole row. And then in this right-hand column, I've got some text to write. One thing I've just noticed about the Charity Water website is how this happens on mobile. Just keep your eye on this text up here. You see how this actually will flip to the top of the screen. Now naturally, when you add content to columns, it will 
flip to the bottom. So I need a cute way to fix that up. Now I could do this with a bit of CSS wizardry, but actually Cadence has a nice feature built into it that will make it super easy for me to do. So what we can do at the section level with Cadence is we have this visibility settings down here. So we can hide on desktop, hide on tablet, or hide on mobile. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this section essentially, put one over here and one over here, but I'm gonna hide the right one on mobile. So this will only show on the desktop. I'm gonna copy the entire section here, copy that block. I'm gonna come over here and go insert before, and then I'm just gonna paste that block in there. So I've got exactly the same content, but with this section, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my visibility settings and I'm gonna hide this one on desktop. Now you won't see it in the editor, but you'll see when I actually go and view this page now, we'll only see one version like so as we want. But when we actually flip to the mobile version, we'll see that now go seamlessly to the top. Next up, we've got this section along here. And this is an interesting aspect, which is just this bit here. Now Cadence actually has a negative bottom margin, which the core Gutenberg blocks don't have yet. Hopefully we will have at some point, but we should be able to do that with a negative bottom margin. So I'm gonna make extensive use as the row block again here, and I'm gonna choose this setting here, and I'm probably gonna change it slightly because we can just drag this around. I think probably 60, 40. Then I'm just gonna fill out some text. So I've added some text, and now I'm gonna add a background color to the row. So I'm gonna pick the background color by using my little color picker again over here on the right. And then I'm gonna go over to my section layout here, and I'm gonna add that blue color as the background and I'm gonna go background settings, background color, and I'm just gonna pop it in as my new background color. So now we've got that blue background color. Now I need to jump into the section here and also change the background color of each section, which is kind of white really. So I'm just gonna choose a white background. You'll see that white is white now. Jump into that section. Again, using the list view quite a lot over here on the left, go to background settings and changing that to white as well. And then I just need to add a little bit of padding in each of these sections and we want to go into padding margin and I want to, I'm going to link these just for speed today. I want to look just put about 30 pixels of padding around each one. Again, padding and margin, I'm going to link them here and then just choose 30 pixels. And that's got my base sort of layout set here. Now there's a few other things I want to do. The key one is this bit here. Now I think I can probably do that by a negative margin. Oh, I also need to put a little border around each of these sections as well. So I'm going to jump into each section and go to border styles and I'm gonna choose a border color. I'm gonna choose the color, actually I need to choose a border well. So let's just link these and I'm just gonna put this as two. Actually probably one pixel would be fine. And that color's probably all right. I'm not spending a lot of time on this, but that's probably about okay. And again, go into this one and I wanna go into border styles, just copy that border color across and I'm gonna choose my border width again. I'll link them all and I'll just choose one pixel. To do this little effect here, I think I can probably utilize the negative margin functionality that's built into the cadence row as well. So I'm gonna have a go at this. What I'm gonna do is actually just select both of these sections. Let's just check the list view and come over here to padding and margin. And I'm just gonna give this a bottom margin of minus 90. Now again, you probably won't see this in the editor. Indeed, you won't see this in the editor, but if I view the page, can you see how now we've got this nice cutout? The blue is actually doing what this site does. Next, all I have to do is these little six boxes down here. The way I'm gonna accomplish that is I'm gonna combine the core Gutenberg columns block. I'm just gonna choose three columns here, this option here. And within each one, I'm just gonna put the info box block, which comes as part of the cadence blocks. And that'll just give me the set up very, very quickly. You can see over here, you can change the presets and you see how they're changing over here. So you could accomplish this just using Core Gutenberg, but this is faster for sure. And it also gives you a few more controls and a quicker way to get there. So I'm just gonna finish adding the next row. I'm just gonna finish off by adding these little social icons to the footer. I think the way I'm gonna do this is actually add the row block, the row layout block that comes with Cadence. And I'm gonna choose just one column because I'm not gonna worry about this stuff down here. And I'm gonna add our social icons in here. But to start with what I'm actually gonna do is to add some borders, my border, this little border along the top. And I think I can do that in the roadblock, which is quite cool. So the border width top, I'm gonna to give it one pixel and I'm gonna give it a color of, it's kind of light gray. So let's go light gray. And there's my little border to it, which is quite funky. Now, hopefully that will be full width if I select full width along here. There we go. And now I just need to put my social icons, which I'm gonna do using the social icons block. So just add the block and then you click the plus sign to add the actual icons. I'll add the first one, Twitter. There it is. Now I want to align this to the left. I'm gonna to go to section and I'm gonna go flex align settings and go text alignment and I want it horizontal. And there we go, now it's aligned over the left. I need to link it. I put a false link in there. 
Um, the only other thing I want to do with this, I want to change the icon color. So the actual icon color is kind of gray. I choose that gray color and the background is white essentially. And there we go, there's my Twitter icon. And I'm just gonna repeat the process. So here's my finished result. My attempt is on the left and the screenshot of the site is over on the right. And I think it's pretty good. I would probably give myself a seven, seven and a half out of 10 for this one. We've got all the main features in place. The style's pretty good. We've got a working donation form. We've got a mobile version that flexes nicely on mobile, all within just within the 30 minutes that I gave myself. So not a bad attempt. Thanks again to the team at GiveWP and Cadence for issuing the challenge. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, if you can hit that like button, it would be amazing because it really does help spread the word of the channel. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more Recreate website challenges, just hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.